welcome to a vlog. I haven't done one of these in a little while. Um, I know some of you really like these as like a change up from regular DIY videos. And um, that's what I'm doing today. So I'm just getting ready. We've had a really good morning. My husband is home this morning um, for a little while. He's going into work kind of late and he's gonna be there kind of late. Um, so he's just kind of giving me some time to get ready <laughs> for the day, which is always really nice. I just have some time alone in the bathroom and, um, it helps me like kind of be able to go into the day and, and have like my son for the entire day, the rest of the day, like I'll put him to sleep by myself tonight. And I just feel a little bit like more energized when I have like this time to myself in the morning, even if it's just like 15 minutes. Um, so they left, they went on a run. We had a little breakfast this morning, as you saw, a so little uh, everything bagel, with avocado, and some chicken sausage. Um, we just got that espresso machine and I freaking love it. It is life-changing. It was our Christmas present to each other. Um, instead of buying each other Christmas presents this year, we bought the espresso machine. It was such a good investment. If this is your first time here, my name is Megan and we just moved. I'm actually, 24 weeks pregnant right now and we have a two-year-old son we're gonna have a little girl this summer um we sold our house and we're renting now we're living in an apartment which is why i'm standing in a blue bathroom because this is not um the paint color that i would choose for this bathroom and so yeah i'm just gonna take this time to get ready for the day and then i will take you guys along with me like even put makeup on um just because i'm a toddler but i do always make sure i put my jewelry on like that is like the one thing i feel like will make me feel like complete and put together even if i don't get to do my hair and makeup um and i've just really been more into like a more natural look anyway so even when i do my makeup it's like very minimal these days and having the jewelry with more a more minimal makeup look just makes me feel more put together i guess i did recently get some new items from ana luisa i have worked with them quite a few times now i absolutely love their jewelry they're actually sponsoring today's video and this is a necklace i've had for quite some time i wear this almost every day i love it it is like my go-to piece and it's so unique it just looks like I don't know, I've never seen anything like it. I think that's why I like it. It's very simple, but it's very different. And I always wear the class kind of like up front. I just think it looks so pretty. And I also got sort of like a smaller version of that to kind of go with it this time, or just to wear as like a layered piece with other items. I have a lot of their necklaces and I love layering them. This one's like a little bit longer than this, which I think it looks really good layered like that. And I also have some that are even longer and they even have some that are like, they're one necklace, but they're like three layered necklaces together, which I think is really nice if you don't feel like putting on three different necklaces. The reason I love Ana Luisa is because their jewelry is like classic everyday pieces, stuff that you can wear every day. It's not something that I feel like I'm only stuck with on a special occasion. The price point is super low. Their jewelry starts at $39 and there's no luxury markup. They last forever. I've had some of these pieces for years now, um, but they do come with a 365 day warranty. I've never seen anything from them tarnish or leave any sort of like ring or mark on my skin. Everything is really good quality. And I also love that their jewelry is 100% carbon neutral. Everything they send you is made from 100% recycled paper. You guys know I love a good sustainable company. Everything comes in paper except for what the jewelry actually comes in. And these are like these little reusable pouches. I even gave them to my son so he could like mess with the snaps. Usually every day I wear these like gold hoops but I did this time order some smaller hoops and I'm really excited to try on. I'm a little worried that my earlobes are gonna be too big for them, but I have big earlobes, so we'll see. Oh, they open, duh. So my intention was to get these for my second hole. Ana Luisa is having a sale right now. I'll have a link in my description box for 15% off. I think their jewelry would be a really good Mother's Day gift. 
even to yourself. I got my mama necklace from them around Mother's Day last year and it was just really nice to have to wear on Mother's Day. But also if you know a mother and you wanna buy them a gift, that would be a really cute gift to get. I don't think I've put anything in my second holes for a little while. Oh, there we go. That's really cute, I love that. Oh, those are nice, they just snap on. I think these would be really cute to wear together. Oh yeah, I might should switch those maybe and have the larger ones. Oh no, I might wear it like that today. Okay, now I'm ready to start my day. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you guys these overalls because every time I wear them on Instagram, um, people always ask me where I got them and they were $40 on Amazon and they're super stretchy. I think they're going to actually last me the entire pregnancy, I'm pretty sure a really big belly could fit in here. You can get overalls, you know, maternity clothes are just so marked up and you could spend $100 on them, but I, I'm not gonna wear these forever, so I didn't wanna spend a ton of money. $40 is like a perfect price point for these. Hi. Hi. Miles, can you take this one? Come on. Do you wanna take your sandals off? Yeah. Yeah, he's doing them with me, so we would learn. You know, we're kind of learning how to count at the same time. Oh, nice! Last time I oh, that is very wet. Last time that I worked out in the living room, like just did a little thing. He was doing it with me. Yeah, he's yeah. so good at it. Yeah. And he'd be like, so we would do push up. We do squats and push ups, and then we would take our push up. We would take our airplanes, and we would go down the path. Go around the pole, okay. yeah. Yeah. come back, yeah. go, yeah. go yeah. off your head, off the shoulder, <laughs> off the sign. I see. That is so cool. So cool. Yeah. Okay, go feed Darla. Pour that in, okay? Pick it up. Watch. Uh, uh, Ew, no, yuck, yuck, yuck. Mom. There you go. Here, help me. Hold it. Hold these and then pour it. There you go. Okay, not all of it. I gotta get a little good. scooper. Okay, then close it up. Right. So I keep a cleaning checklist here on my fridge. I have this on my website. If you sign up for my mail list, you will receive this in your email and you can print it out and put it wherever you want. I love it because even though I don't do everything every day, like today is water plants, which I will do that and I will clean out the fridge. I don't always get to everything, especially like wipe down bathroom surfaces on Tuesday, which is a lot. It's only one thing on one day. <laughs> But it is nice to have like as a guideline that when I have time, these are the things I can do. So I have this dish rack, like silicone tray on my sink. And I like having it because a couple of my plants don't have a little dish to catch the water, so I have to water them at the sink. It's not a lot, just a few. And I can just set them on top of that, it's very sturdy. And they'll just drain over the course of a couple of hours and I don't have to worry about getting water everywhere. I also got this, um, this crazy contraption. It's like a squeezy bottle from Amazon. And I like it because I can use it to water some of my plants that are really like high up and hard to reach without taking them down every week to water them. So this thing has come in super handy.
as you can probably see in some of these shots, my house is not put together. It's certainly not like my old one. Um, I mentioned earlier we recently moved, so we went from an almost 3,000 square foot house to a 1,800 square foot rental, like apartment, and it's been like such a just change, just, just a dramatic change for me because I always lived in small spaces before I met my husband. I didn't have a lot, but we just accumulated so much in the um, short time that we lived together in that last house. I have just been like purging like crazy. My most recent thing that I've been purging is clothing. So I've been holding on to a lot of like pre-pregnancy clothes, maternity clothes from last time I was pregnant that I'm really not like loving anymore. And just like clothing in general that I feel like has value and is still in style, but I don't necessarily like to wear or feel like is like a reflection of my style. And so I've recently gotten involved with a bunch of Facebook buy, sell trade groups and I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. There is a group for every brand, every style, and I'm in so many of them. And this past weekend I did several purges. So you can basically go on and you can say, I'm going to sell, you know, all of these items you can have like a picture of it at this time and then you can go through and kind of individually list every item and people can offer to buy them and i sold a lot this weekend i'm going to show you <laughs> what i'm about to pack up so this is everything that i like have packaged up here and there's even more and i have and i have a ton of labels that i have to actually like cut out and print and just like pack all of this up to ship i still have a ton that i want to sell that I'm just gonna set aside and try a list later because I only did, you know, these purges only a certain amount of people see them. So I'll wait a couple weeks and I'll list again and see what, you know, sort of traction I can get from it. But I think this was very successful. I have to cut all these labels out. Okay, I put Miles down for a nap and I can literally hear him saying, mommy, mommy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Shouldn't you be taking a nap? What are you doing? You threw all your stuff out. Just making myself a little lunch. I have some tacos with these almond flour tortillas, which I haven't actually used before. This is just turkey, ground turkey that I made a couple days ago, a little bit of queso. And then I'm just gonna throw like some, I like some like greens on my tacos. Yum. Okay, I just finished those tacos. I ate them really fast. I was pretty hungry. These tortillas, almond flour by the Siete brand. These are the best tortillas I've ever had. That was my first time having them. I normally buy the like, uh, it's like mission, low carb, whatever tortillas. I've recently gotten into more clean eating because of my thyroid condition. So I try to buy, if it's anything packaged, I really try to watch the ingredients that are in it. So like no um, highly processed oils. I try to stick, stick to like just coconut oil, um, organic extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil. Anyway, these pass the test. There's actually only, what, let's see, almond flour, tapioca flour, water, and sea salt, and xanthan gum. That's it, that's all that's in here, and they were so, 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 so good. Highly recommend those. Well, I had plans to buy something on Facebook Marketplace and then stop by Ikea th afterwards, because it was like right there. The lady like totally flaked on me. I don't know what the deal is. So instead, I'm actually gonna show you guys around the apartment because the last little update that I did in here was when it was empty. And I've gotten a ton of messages asking you guys to show, asking me to show you guys what it looks like furnished. <laughs> and it looks crazy. As I mentioned before, I have not really had a chance to do exactly what I want to do with this space and Originally it was meant to be very temporary, but now we've decided that we think we might be here for a couple of years because we really like the area. We really like it here. Um, so I'll just take you through, show you. It's very messy. Some areas are not, some areas are very messy. Um, and kind of explain a little bit um, about some of the plans that I have for some of the spaces too, because some things I was sort of iffy about before. So this is like our entry area. It's like right by the front door when you come in and 
I have my packages on the floor, a big pile of shoes over there. I'm actually planning to get this shoe storage thing to put like right there that, it, you know, it's from Ikea, but it's out of stock. My day bed, which I have a hack for this. There's a video for it and it's awesome. I love having it here. It's so pretty under this window here. And then a big pile of stuff that needs to go to the thrift store. And my snoo, that is not going to the thrift store. It's full of clothes right now. But when the baby gets here, the baby will be sleeping in that. And this is like a little um, sunroom area. I have like a, my bookcase here with a nice comfy chair, a place to read. And then I have, there's Darla, um, a little desk here, a little like workspace. But this is just kind of a plant room as well. I, we never really knew what we were going to do with that room, but it's... It's messy, but it's nice to have just a little quiet space like away and then more mess <laughs> And then, If you remember I painted this and I store a lot of like my Craft things in here and it's also a mess because I haven't really had a chance to organize here is our living room area Which I just switched out this rug in here with that rug which was in our old living room um, And I think this one actually looks a lot better. It's a loloi rug and it just looks really good with this couch. I'm gonna get different pillows for the chairs and for the couch in general, but I got these awesome shelves from Ikea. They're, I'll link them below. They have fulfilled all of my bookshelf dreams. They're massive, and I still haven't fully decorated them. And then this is our kitchen. Not much to say about it. <laughs> it's pretty small, um, especially compared to our old one, but I really like it. It functions well. And then I just built this like little nook over here with some stools that I'm still actually working on. One stool is finished and one stool is not. Um, just with like some shelves for extra pantry storage above it. I still need to like decorate. I wanna do like a picture there or something. Our dining room is kind of crazy. So I want to replace this light in here. I also wanna paint, it's very gray. Um, I, 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 we rent, but I still wanna paint it. And, Obviously, I'm going to do a different table and chairs because these are my Facebook Marketplace find chairs and they need a lot of work and I just don't think I have the space or time to do that here at this location. <laughs> messy laundry room and messy pantry in here. Miles' kitchen. And then this is like what we ended up doing for our master. I have not made the bed today, but there is my dresser i just did a hack on that an ikea hack i love that it's so nice to have like the extra storage but i haven't decorated in here as much as i'd like to i'd like to do some like hanging plants above the windows i did install some pendant lights to have um next to the bed and i need to get a different rug in here because this rug is so mommy. too gray oh. what so mommy. what it's okay so mommy. this guest room <laughs> i'm embarrassed that i'm showing you guys this yeah, that's all I'll say about that. I need to go through that. But Miles' room, he's got a massive tree in here and lots of toys and it's just big. It's actually so big that we are planning to have him share it with his baby sister when she gets here. So I will be sort of like reconfiguring that and designing it when that time comes because I'm thinking, a crib there for her and then like a big go boy bed over go there for him. Go on. You want me to go? Go on. Where? Go on. In there? So yeah, that is our little apartment. It's definitely a much different situation than when we had our house, but we love it. We love our neighborhood. We're having so much fun just like living in a different place. Um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna do like some dinner for Miles and just like chill with him for the rest of the night. My husband's working kind of late. I'm gonna try to get some work done on the computer. Um, I just wanna remind you guys to check out Ana Luisa's jewelry. They are having a 15% off sale for Mother's Day. I have a link below in the description box. I am actually really loving my new earring setup, which I, I thought I would, that's why I picked them. But yeah, so I will see you guys next time. <laughs>